Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Abdullah Chatmachi. I am a street photography here in the UK and today's video we're going to do something a bit special. Something really different but it has been featured on this channel before and I am shooting with the Sony a7 III but with my Minolta vintage lens for my film camera attached to the body. I'll explain later on in the video of why am I doing this setup. It's quite a bright sunny day here in my hometown and um, yeah what I'll do I'll explain all the settings that I'm using for the camera later on in the video and why I'm choosing more details about the setup. So what we're going to do now we're going to head up into the city centre and then we're going to maybe head down to the quayside for the next little bit afterwards in the uh, towards the end of the video. So Sony a7 III with the Minolta 28 vintage lens, extra UK. Let's crack on it and let's see what shots we could get with this amazing setup. Let's go. You will end up having situation like this while out doing street photography. There are some people that don't mind take you taking their pictures, but in this situation, someone didn't like it. As a digital camera, you just ask them, would you like to delete the image? And they say, yes, just delete it. Don't argue, say, yep, thank you, and then just get on with what you're doing. These situations do happen, so do not worry. They're not bad.
Right guys, um, yeah, the shoot is going pretty well. Got some quite good shots. But anyway, the settings I'm using is 500th of a second shutter speed between F8, F11, sometimes 16 and sometimes 5.6, depending on uh, the shade and shadow and that. Uh, auto ISO and I'm using some focusing. I don't know if you could see it there which is set to two meters. That's what my normal range. This is the reason why I love shooting with these cameras. Well, with this, not cameras, with these type of manual focus lens is the fact that they have uh, a scale. The zone focusing is if you set the meter to two point, say two meters, and you set the aperture to F8 or F11, and within those focal range, like say to, if I set it to um, on here, if I could see it, I don't know if you could see that. Two meters, anything infinity and say 1.2 meters will be in focus. So if I set that to F8 or F11, the fur the wider the this is why I really like shooting with a 28 mil lens because you get more of a, a, a range, like um, depth of field range. If you say, for example, shoot with a 50 mil or more, 
the depth of field is really narrow so you can't really focus unless you use an autofocus but with this I'm able to capture a lot more in the detail and be able to create more of a story that's the reason why I shoot with this style and I prefer the 28mm the 35 is good but it's still the 28 is probably one of the best for street photography it's not my favorite setup for street photography at all because of how loud because of how loud the camera is with the shutter compared to the Ricoh GR and the Leica Q2 but anyhow we're still getting some shots and let's head down to the key Can I take a picture of you? There we go, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Alright guys, I hope you liked today's uh, video. It's been a pretty good shoot. At the down in the key, I didn't get many as pictures as I hoped. There's just not enough people around. I think if I come down here during the weekend, it will be packed. Yeah, so if you want to look at the images, the images will be 
in my blog post in the description down below with all the data but unfortunately with this vintage lens it doesn't give me the aperture in the data see we're going to try something different i tried a little bit different things in this video so if you like some more different stuff or you like what i've been doing give it a like subscribe to the channel i said there'll be plenty more videos coming out thank you and see you in for the next one peace out